kick us off? How you feeling, Eric? Good. Excited to be back. You know, I think it's it's a uh, new energy and it's new excitement all around. Um, guys came in with great energy and we've started, you know, this first week off great. So it's good to uh, go down to Phoenix and just kind of go from there. Obviously, in your time with the Timbers, you've only really played under one manager. Now the new one's coming in. What has the talks been like with Phil? And has he kind of entailed a specific role he wants you to play? Yeah, I think it's, you know, you never want someone to lose a job. But I think it's it's good that we have a new energy coming in. And, and you know, Phil has, has come with excitement from day one. And, you know, he talked to a lot of us in the offseason of, you know, what his standards are and, and, and what he is to bring, you know, to this club. And we have big goals and, and, and big um things that we're just going to chase after this year. And, and I, I think, you know, I said it last year of being back to being on the top of the West. I, I think that's just kind of the standard and, and that's what he's going to hold us to. And that's what we're going to push for is making sure that we're a top four team in the West. It's going to have to rein you in a little bit in preseason. I know you probably want to play 90 minutes, but is there a certain minute counter that you're on? Yeah, it's it's been hard. It's it's hard to kind of keep myself from, from getting impatient also, but it's, you know, one where I trust these guys. I work with them a lot this offseason the last couple of years of just staying on top of things. And, you know, days like today where you want to play 90, it's, it's you know, just slowly dripping it back in. So it's exciting to, you know, be able to work with them. And we have a respect for each other that we know we have big goals for not only myself, but this team. Eric, how are you feeling physically? And uh, how, how did this rehab process go compared to previous ones that you've been through? Honestly, I think this is the strongest I've been, um, you know, not only my legs, but kind of upper body. It's just a lot of focusing on the little details. We were able to, you know, get into Nike, get into use different resources that we didn't get to use for the first one. And it's just different data. You know, the game is evolving every day. Um, so it's just kind of taking advantage of, of the resources around us. And and this one, I, it's it's hard because you, you you never plan for something like this. But being able to kind of come back from it a second time is, you know, definitely gets tougher, but at the same time, it, it, it molds into the person you are. And it's, you know, taking a step back and playing a different role at the end of last year, but also, you know, stepping up this year and knowing that, you know, I have a lot of goals, again, for myself and, and for this team and, you know, kind of pushing everyone towards that goal. Is that, given what you've been through for the past couple of seasons, it, and now you've got a new coach and everything, coming into this, is are you kind of like, embracing a fresh start would you say yeah you know that's kind of where everyone's energy is it, it, it kind of feels like everything's new um, we had a longer time off so it was one where everyone took a step back and everyone took care of themselves which is good and it's as you said it, it, it does feel like a fresh start it's a different set of standards a, a different set of kind of rules kind of going around and I think guys are just excited to get going this year you know everyone wants to get to warm weather but also just kind of want to get started of, of you know ramping things up Watching, kind of watching from afar, like, did that change your kind of image of what you want to see in yourself as a player? No, I think it's good to kind of understand and, and go through these things. Um, it, it, I learned a lot about myself that I never thought you would ever have to go through as a player, and it's, it's good because once you take that step back and, and focus on the little things of, you know, what am I doing in my downtime? What am I doing to kind of you know, stay happy or, you know, around the game. And it was good to kind of, again, take that step back, pick people's brains of, hey, how are you feeling out there? And, you know, even last year with, with manager changes of what's it, what's everyone's feeling like and on the field, you know, what's it like off the field and kind of keeping everyone involved, which has been good. And, and it's good to have new faces here and, and, and a lot of guys just being able to, you know, lean on me a little bit of, of not only the city, but just kind of what we bring, you know, in, in Portland and the standards that, that we hold here. Do you feel like you want to take kind of a more active leadership role going oh, for, into the season? For sure. It's it's easy to kind of take that role when, when I've learned from Diego for so long. You know, we're next to each other in the locker room, and it's he holds himself to such a high standard, and it, you know, it's starting to rub off. It, it's little things of no longer leaving a loop on the ground. It's, you know, making sure everything is, is, is tidy. And, you know, he, he got on me a little bit because during the process I like to change gear and stuff. He's like, Eric, go clean up your locker. So it's it's good that it's it's kind of like a big brother, um, kind of father figure of just, you know, everything not only on the field but off as well. And it's, you know, it, it's good and it's definitely, you know, rubbing off me a little bit. So it's good to have. Eric, in your time with Portland, you've played as a 6, an 8, a 10. Do you have a favorite position? No, I think for me it's kind of being able to be versatile and, and – and, you know, whatever the system is, whatever the ask is for me, it's, you know, being able to fill that role. Uh, I think, you know, limiting myself to any of those positions, I think makes it hard for, you know, someone to get into a group. And I think that's what our midfield brings is 
you can see Diego play as a 10, you can see him play as a 6, and, and, and same with, with Christian Ayala. So it's kind of having that flexibility not only with the whole midfield group, but also you have that from myself. And I, I know over my career I've played a lot of different positions, so it's kind of molded myself to being able to have that hybrid um, kind of versatile kind of role. And then Eric, dealing with these obstacles, how have you stayed mentally so strong? And then just being back now, do you feel uh, more appreciation for the game? Yeah, 100%. Like, once you kind of take that step back from the game, you kind of realize how much you miss it. Um, I think the biggest thing was, you know, first ACL was more so in the off season, so it was going home, seeing family. This one was more during the season, so it was just having good weather. Kind of, I've stayed really big on vegetables and, and, and gardening, and it's, you know, I, I grew watermelon. I didn't realize it was three months into the process, and it's, I have a soccer ball sized watermelon. Everyone's like, why is Eric so happy? And it's like, <laughs> go check outside, you know, there's a watermelon. So little things like that that just kind of kept you grounded, and, and it, you didn't realize how long you were away from the game. Um, and it's just kind of taking it day by day of never, you know, taking what we're doing for granted. So. Eric, glad to have you back in the green and gold. Uh, what are your ambitions also for possibly the U.S. national team? Yeah, I think for me it's just getting back on the field, you know, getting regular performances here, um, and then kind of worrying about that. You know, there's big tournaments coming up, and of course my ambition is, you know, to get into a Copa America, get into, you know, just some of these camps, and it's a hard goal to achieve, but, you know, I'm, I'm always going to aim for the aim for the moon, you know, so it's, it's something for me that I, I, I know it's going to be a process, but, you know, again, taking it day by day and just going from there. So it's exciting to kind of be back on the field, but I know that there's, you know, bigger and bigger things out there to chase. It obviously hasn't been that long, but um, just what have you made of the transition from Geo's tactics to Bill's and how do you think the, the team is adapting to the change? Yeah, I think what we did under Geo was so successful for, for a couple of years. I think teams started to figure out. I think we started to try to figure out within as well. Um, and I think Phil's come in with an identity that, you know, in, in, instead of a little more in transition, maybe it's a little more with the ball. Um, so it's, it, it, it's little things like that that we have to start getting in the habit of doing again. Um, and I know the first couple of years under Geo, we had the ball a lot, and then it turned into we were successful when we were just compact and, and ended up, you know, killing teams in transition. So it's just a balance of that and, and making sure that we embrace what, what we're good at, but also, you know, kind of influence the new style that the Phil wants us to play, which is exciting and, and guys are excited to learn and it's going to be a process and it's, it's good to, you know, have, have some time to get it going. Do you feel that possession-based style more suits your game and players like Evander and Perez and the midfield? Yeah, I think it honestly, you know, even guys we bring in, guys we've had, everyone's really good on the ball. And I think it, for me, I love to have the ball and it's it, it's good to be able to have a style that, okay, we're going to benefit from, you know, keeping possession. You know, maybe it's even counterattacks within, you know, losing the ball high up and, and, and repressing little things like that that we're going to be able to um, – be really successful with and I'm excited to see what it's to bring you know we still have some time to to get it right but I'm you know more than sure that we can do it thank you Eric. Yeah, cool. thank you Thanks, thank you, you all yeah.